Hi everyone, welcome to day 29th of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analysts and business analysts interview question for SQL. We will be solving one of the data analysts interview question that was asked in booking.com data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question is find the hotel name and their total number of weekends bookings. Sort the data higher number course. So let's see the data that we have. So in the data we can see ID which is booking ID, hotel name, booking date and the customer's ID, adult and payment type. But we do not have something called basically weekends booking. Uh, but we have something called date so basically we can use this column so let's write down our approach to solve this problem so what we need is basically we need basically number of hotel booking for basically weekends right so we can go ahead and say first we need is basically hotel name first we need hotel name then we need basically the total number of bookings right total number of bookings okay, which is basically for weekends right and do a group by by basically the hotel name right so and then we can do a order by by basically the total bookings right bookings. so this is how we can basically solve this uh, you know problems so let's see how we can solve this problem so now this weekend booking we can achieve using a case statement so let's just go ahead and start writing our query so first i need basically the hotel name which is this column so i'm going to say hotel name and then I will need basically the total number of booking which is done for weekends. So we can use a case here to basically find out the weekend bookings. So we can go ahead and say case when. And if you do not know about the case statement, do leave a comment. I'll make a video very soon to explain it, to explain more about it. So I'm going to say when this booking date, okay. So when this booking date, so basically when this booking date is a basically weekend. So that's where I want to basically make some, you know, logic here. So I'm going to say basically, I'm going to use the extract functions here. So I'm going to say extract uh, DOW, DOW from this booking date, and uh, I would be using in. So I'm going to say basically six or seven. I will be explaining what I'm doing here, okay? And then I'll be saying then one else zero okay. now let's see what is this doe function does okay so if i go ahead and say select doe so that means day of the week sorry do w day of the week so from current date right so i can use extract functions here extract day of the week from the current date so it's going to return the basically today's uh you know basically numbers from this current week okay which is basically this current date now you see today is thursday so thursday is basically four that means monday is one then tuesday is two then wednesday is basically three and thursday is basically count as a four so basically if we need basically sunday that's going to be seven and saturday that's going to be six because saturday and sunday are considered as weekend right now here i'm saying when extract day of the week from this booking date so basically i'm extracting day of the week from this basically booking date and I'm checking if this day of the week is basically from 6 or 7. If it's from 6 or 7, then I'm basically giving it value as 1. Otherwise, I'm saying it as 0. Now, I can go ahead. I use a, a sum functions here to basically do a sum. So, I'm going to say sum of this. And uh, then I can just say total weekend bookings. Now, I'll need to do a group by by this hotel name, right? So, then I can basically get a count. So I will be saying group by by this hotel name and order by by basically this hotel booking in this end. So this is going to basically you know give us the result that we are expecting. So using this case statement, we are extracting the day number from the booking date and checking if the day number is six or seven because six is Saturday and seven is Sunday. And if then that is yes, then that booking is considered as basically one. That means one means basically weekend bookings because at the end we're doing a sum. That's how we are finding the total basically weekends booking but for that particular basically hotel name, right? Now we're doing a group by by this hotel name because for this hotel name, we want to find out the sum of basically this total weekends booking, right? Now I can just go ahead and run this query. So you will see we have the answer. Now you see hotel A has done the maximum weekend booking, which is total number of weekend booking is eight. Hotel C and D are the second, which is three and three. Now I have a quick task for you. Let me show you the task. So the task is find out the hotel name and their total number of booking by credit card and the cash. So basically how many booking they have got basically for credit by credit card. 
and how many booking they have got for cash. So you can write down your answer in the comment box. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.